Hello and thank you for watching. I'm Jennifer Bowman with Olympia Piano and this video will be a short tutorial on how to move the hands in and out in Bach's Musette in D major, one of my favorite pieces. So before we begin the tutorial, I'd like to mention two things. First of all, many editions have the tempo for this marked as 112 and usually I do not teach or play it that fast. It's really fast. So I find if I'm thinking about 112, I'm always concerned that I'm going to splat on the move. And in my opinion, it doesn't need to be that fast. So I usually have my goal tempo, performance tempo for this piece be around 92, which sounds like this. Still feels fast, but not so frantic. So if our performance tempo is 92, then usually I'll start with a practice tempo way down at 60 or 72, something like that. So we might be practicing like this. Just to get everything in. Item two is I just wanna go over what I use for articulation for this piece. So in the right hand, I do measures one and two smooth. So down, smooth, down, smooth. And then measures three and four, I have a slur, short, 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 short. And generally that's the articulation you might see in one of the books. There's lots of great editions of this. Left hand, I usually do not do this slurred. I usually have that be bouncy while the right hand is slurring. So I have, and then I have the match. Smooth, short, 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 short. We'll start with the right hand. This piece is in the key of D major, so it's very convenient. The right hand starts in D major position. So you wanna play this with a nice firm bridge and more on the tips portions of the hands. That will give you a little bit of a crisper sound. So the first thing I suggest you do is just move back and forth because if you notice, measures one and two are in D position up here and measures three and four are in D position down here. So we just want to get comfortable moving between the D positions. So we have here, 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 here. And the real test for moving between positions is can you do the move with your eyes closed? And I think you can. You want to feel that third finger on the bottom of the group of three black keys. So try to do it with your eyes closed. Now take a look at the pattern. Pattern one starts on so, do, re, mi, fa, so, or a. So the pinky is gonna be the leader, okay? Pattern number two starts on me or F sharp. So we want to practice locking in that move. We're gonna roll through. And then instead of going up and over like this, you're gonna kind of fold over and land on an F sharp. So I want you to just play the pattern going down and then land and then just stop until you can do that about five times in a row. See how my third finger wanted to fall off? That's why we want to find the distance and get it by feel so it's secure. And I'm folding over. I'm not kind of moving my whole hand over. Folding over, then I reorient my hand. Once you can do that cleanly five to seven times, it doesn't count if it slides off or something, five to seven good ones, then work on the other move, which is this. It's moving an octave here, but it's gonna feel a little bit larger because you're popping off your thumb to up here. So then I practice that, but I'm really concentrating the distance of an octave with my pinky. I'm not thinking, oh, this is really huge. So you wanna get also five to seven of those. And then you're ready to try it nice and slowly with the metronome at 60. So we're gonna do that right now. Ready, go. Smooth, fast. Big jump here. Then you can move up your metronome incrementally. Don't try to do it all in one day. So now we'll turn to the left hand. Same concept. The right hand we moved D position to D position. 
So it's more of a jump. Left hand is not deposition in the first two measures, it's an octave. So all we have to really think about is the pinky goes where the thumb was. So it's kind of like the hand folds over and then resets. So we're thinking octave, deposition, octave, deposition. And this will come in handy because when you have two hands moving at once, your eyes cannot be two places at once. So you have to figure out which hand can you do more by feel. And in this case, it's gonna be the left hand because the D is gonna be shared by the thumb and then the pinky. So back and forth, get the positions. Then we do the same thing. So the left hand, we're gonna practice the fold, but it's gonna be smaller because we're not coming from down here. We're not doing that large thing. We're just doing a major third which you have all the time in arpeggios and that sort of thing. So we're gonna practice grabbing, just like that. Again, five to seven times, and then you're all set. Now this one is a little bit more difficult when you get to here, because you actually have to go a full octave. So just practice that. You have plenty of time to do it though. Sometimes we get all freaked out and think we have to get down there so fast, just, just gentle and rhythmic. So left hand alone, go. Bouncy, now you're folding the third finger over, short, 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 scoot, fast. It's in plenty of time to do that. Fold. So now we're going to take the same exact technique when we put our hands together and we're going to block them first. So we'll block position, position, back and forth. Feel those positions. Again, see if you can do with your eyes closed. You can't see if my eyes are closed or not, but they are. And now let's practice that move. Left hand is just going to go by feel. Right hand, you have to watch. So now we have the harder jump. And I like to watch the right hand for this one because it's a bigger jump and do the left hand by feel because our hands are more used to the distance of an octave. And even though this is a distance of an octave, you didn't just play this note here, if that makes sense. So, feel the left hand, go down an octave, and do that. Watch the right hand, and then it's the same. Okay, so now I'm gonna slow the metronome down to 50 just to get all of the elements in there and just trust yourself that you can do this. The hardest thing about the hands together is the D to D. Trust that your hands know the distance of an octave. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. Left hand by feel, right hand by eye. Left hand by feel, right hand look. Then once you can do that cleanly at 50, move it up gradually. Do not feel like you need to move it all up to 92 in one day. Probably I'd say get it really solid at 50 to 60 for the first week and then incrementally move it faster because it takes time for your fingers to develop the muscle memories, especially if you're doing all of that articulation and such. So I appreciate you watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I have another short video where I'm gonna discuss this tricky rhythm um, on measure 13 and how to do that part. It's so fun, I love that part. Please write to me in the comments. Tell me what you're working on. Let me know if there's any videos that you might find helpful and I will put them in my list of videos to do. And as always, thank you for watching.